I chose to study further maths because I really enjoy maths at GCSE and I find that it offers more interesting topics and a deeper understanding of them. Um, it's also beneficial to my uni applications because I want to study maths and it can give me lower offers. The reason I chose further maths at A level was because I really enjoyed maths as a subject and wanted to learn more in depth about the concepts of maths. My favourite part so far in further maths is complex numbers because it goes in depth into the street maths. If that piques your interest, you too should choose further maths. Why study further mathematics? A guide for students, parents and carers. Further mathematics is an additional AS or A-level qualification taken in addition to AS or A-level mathematics. It is designed to stretch and challenge mathematics students and prepare them for university courses in mathematics and related quantitative and scientific subjects. At Traferis, we follow the OCR MEI specification as it gives students the ability to study more branches of mathematics than the other specifications. During year 12, you will cover all of the content required for AS level further maths, so that if you would like to have the option to take the AS level at the end of year 12, you can do. During this year, a third of the content is further pure topics, and the other two thirds but equally between further statistics and discrete mathematics topics. During the second year of the course, two thirds of the content covers pure areas and the remaining third is on further mechanics. Overall for the two years of study towards A-level further maths, half of the content is pure mathematics, with statistics, discrete and mechanics options each being a sixth of the full A-level. For exceptionally gifted students, we're also able to support them through independently studying additional optional modules such as extra pure numerical methods, further pure technology, or additional mechani mechanics or statistics. Two examples of important further pure topics are complex numbers and matrices. You meet both these topics in year 12 and then extend them further in year 13 into the A-level further maths. Matrices are arrays of numbers, such as 1, 0, 0, 2. They can be used to solve sets of simultaneous equations and to represent transformations such as the shear shown in the diagram below. Complex numbers are based on the imaginary number which comes from square root and negative one. They lead to the study of lots of new areas of mathematics, including fractals like those shown in the image above. At Traferis, we ensure that all our further math students study a broad range of the optional modules so that every student has covered relevant content for their next steps. Discrete mathematics is a relatively new branch of mathematics and the majority of the topics we study were developed over the last century since the invention of computers. Many of the problems in discrete math mathematics involve optimization, finding an efficient solution, and hence methods are applicable to many real world situations. For example, what would be the most efficient route for delivering post around this network of streets? In the UK, A-level entries for both maths and verb maths have steadily increased over the last 15 years. In 2020, mathematics was again the most popular A-level subject and verb maths was the 16th most popular, with more entries than PE, law, computing or languages. Lots of subjects make use of maths, so if students are planning to study any of these, they should think about taking a maths qualification alongside. The larger the overall, the more maths is in the subject, 
and so further maths should be considered. Subjects with smaller ovals would be well supported by either A-level maths or level three core maths. The blank ovals indicate the fact that there are many other subjects that have maths in them, such as product design, music, graphics, etc. This slide lists some of the possible misconceptions about who might take core maths, A-level maths or further maths. Maths is in fact a subject that is relevant to many careers and is not solely associated with physics and engineering careers and we've already seen that maths is the fourth most popular A-level for girls. Mathematics and further mathematics are versatile qualifications, well respected by employers and for entry to higher education. Careers for men and women with good math skills and qualifications are not only well paid, but they are interesting and rewarding. People who have studied maths are in the fortunate position of having an excellent choice of career as illustrated by the wide range of career titles shown here. The average salary six years after studying a further maths and maths A levels is £25,500. On this slide you can see how this compares with other subjects. Mathematics is vital to every area of engineering, for example when designing the Bloodhound to break the land speed record Engineers will have considered many different mathematical models to get the optimal design, including considering the shape of the vehicle to reduce air resistance, the optimal weight the engine could have so that it, it wasn't too heavy, but large enough to power it to reach a high speed. This slide shows a differentiated offer which emphasises the way that further mathematics is considered important in preparation for a mathematics degree. Taking AS or A-level further mathematics reduces the offer. The second example shows that a failure to take A-level further mathematics can limit access to the most prestigious STEM courses. This slide shows that further mathematics is often indicated as a preferential qualification for engineering in addition to required subjects. For many engineering degrees, courses starting in 2021, A-level maths is now the only compulsory subject. Competition for places on some degree courses is high and students should consider taking A-level mathematics and further mathematics in order to distinguish their application, secure a place and help them succeed once they start the course. In some cases, a qualification in core maths or A-level maths slash further mathematics will reduce the grades required for entry to a degree course in a related subject. Sheffield are also offering reduced offers if you're studying AS or A-level further mathematics and the degree course you're applying for um, has A-level maths as a requirement. And here are two examples 
of how that reduced offer could look, in, for example, in chemistry and aerospace engineering. At Trafferis, our further maths exam board gives our students the option to study additional modules, such as extra pure numerical methods, extra pure of technology, mechanics major and statistics major. The benefit of sitting an additional module is that the exam board will select the best scores from the selection of modules sat to give students the best grade. We also have a very successful track record with the UK MTC Team Challenge and last year came second in the regional competition. We also have many students who do well in the individual challenges and are invited to complete further challenges such as the Kangaroos. The sixth form at Traferis give exceptional support to students who are applying to leading universities, including Oxford and Cambridge. As such, there's a wealth of experience in supporting students through additional qualifications, such as the Advanced Extension Award, STEP, TUMA, and the MAT. Which are required for entrance to some of the leading universities. <laughs> 